everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you've never been here before, welcome. My name is Shannon, and today is a very special day because I got my July Owl Crate in the mail today, and the first thing I noticed when I got this box was that it's taller than usual, but like thinner here, and that's weird because right here I have the old box, and you can see it's bigger this way, but shorter, and then the new box... I can't even pick it up with one hand, so it's a lot taller. See the difference? This is a new one. And this is last month's. So anyway, July's theme is good versus evil, so they said half of the boxes are going to be filled with good things, so things inspired by heroes, and the other half will have evil things, so things inspired by their favorite villains. And I've been waiting for this box for so long, I'm super excited to open it. I think the book is going to be This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. I initially thought I was going to get an evil box, but now I'm feeling like it might be good. I don't know, but I'm super excited to open it. Okay, so here is the... Card. I'm not going to look at the back to avoid spoilers, so I'm just showing you the card. Um, looks like it has some boxy robot, a computer, um, I don't know, it's really cool. So the first thing I see in here, oh, I did get a good box because this is Dobby from Harry Potter. I love Dobby so much. Dobby is so cute. He's one of my favorite characters of all time. I'm super excited to have him. I already have Snape that I got in a different owl crate and I just bought Luna recently. So I'm so glad I never bought Dobby because now I have him in... Oh my gosh, he's so adorable. I just love Dobby so much. Join Dumbledore's army and support our favorite boy wizard until the very end. We're over the moon to have included either a Luna Lovegood or Dobby pop figure from Funko in your box. May they remind you to be yourself and to always be kind. Which one did you receive? Wow, I'm actually surprised I got Dobby because something that would happen to me was I would get Luna because I have Luna. Although it wouldn't be too bad if I got another Luna because this one does not stand up. Like, it takes a long time for me to get her to stand up and she will hardly ever stay. So mine's defective, but... Dobby is one of my favorite characters of all time, and I'm super happy to have him. Oh! Okay, so I was looking at this for a while, and it's Alice from Alice in Wonderland. It's a magnetic bookmark by Jane's Tiny Things. It has Alice on the front, and it says on the back, I knew who I was when I got up this morning. But I think I must have changed several times since then. And that is by Lewis Carroll. So the evil box must have got a queen of hearts. And I'm glad I got a good box, because I, I would have liked either, but I think that's kind of what I was leaning towards. Explore Wonderland and all of its hidden surprises with this adorable Alice magnetic bookmark created by Jane's Tiny Things. We're a little bit mad here, and that's quite alright, because all the best things are. The next thing in here is You Have Me Until the Last Star in the Galaxy Dies. You Have Me. It's a really nice print. Oh, so this is by Illuminate by... Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff is one of the most heart-racing, unique, and inspiring novels in YA history. We hope you adore the beautiful sticker, hand-designed exclusively for Owlcrate by the brilliant Drop and Give Me Nerdy. Never forget to hold on to your humanity. So I really want to read Illuminate, but I think I saw it on Book Outlet once, so if it's still on Book Outlet, I think it sold out, I want to get it because Book Outlet is amazing. But I think that once I get a lap desk that I'm going to use, I will put this on there. The next thing in here I see is Romeo and Juliet meets Indiana Jones. Every Hidden Thing by Kenneth Opal. A forbidden romance flourishes during a harrowing journey into the Badlands. And then it says, I went close to you so I could hear your breathing. And I told you, you must not die. I told you to live because I never felt love the way you loved me. And that is a quote from this book. Yes, so I'm not sure what this book is about. I've never heard of it before, but I'm excited to see more about it. 
The next thing I see is by vectorengraving.etsy.com and it's this tiny little adorable box. And it is a, ooh, it's a necklace and it looks like a ship from Star Wars. I can't tell you which ship it is because I, I don't know much about Star Wars yet, but I'm learning. So it must be like Luke Skywalker's ship maybe, but I don't care. I like Star Wars from what I've seen and I'm going to wear it. Harness the power of the Force with this awesome Millennium Falcon necklace from Vector Engraving. Let your inner Jedi be shown to the world. And then last but not least is the book. <gasps> okay, I see a signed book plate in here and I've never gotten this in an owl crate before so I'm super excited about that. And I was right, it is The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. And it says there's no such thing as safe. So, as always, there is a letter from the author, a handwritten note. And then I see this YA covers to color. On the back it says, I spent my life folded between the pages of books. Which reminds me of this coaster that has the same exact quote that I got in, I think, was it April? I don't know. But it's made by Evie Books and I love it. Anyway, so this is YA covers to color and it has this savage song. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Every Hidden Thing, Red Queen, yes. The Lifeboat Click, Sing. These are all books that I've heard of other than Every Hidden Thing until now. A Study in Charlotte, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, and Dorothy Must Die. I am definitely going to color these, and this is so cool. That's exciting. And then, of course, there is the signed book plate. And I... I've never done this before. Anyway, here it is without the jacket. There's the spine written in foiled red. And then there's like a little symbol on the front that's engraved in. I don't know what it means, but it's cool. The back says, Corsi, Corsi, tooth and claw. Shadow and bone will eat you raw. Malchi, malchi, sharp and sly. Smile and bite and drink you dry. Sun eye, sun eye, eyes like coal. Sing you a song and steal your soul. Monsters, monsters, big and small, they're going to come and eat you all. That is intense. Anyway, I don't know if I said Corsai, Sunai, and Malchai. I probably said those wrong. Anyway, Kate Harker wants to be as ruthless as her father. After five years and six boarding schools, she's finally going home to prove that she can be. August Flynn wants to be human, but he isn't. He's a monster, one that can steal souls with a song. He's one of the three most powerful monsters in a city overrun with them. His own father's secret weapon. Their city is divided. Their city is crumbling. Kate and August are the only two who see both sides. The only two who could do something. But how do you decide to be a hero or a villain when it's hard to tell which is which? So I've heard that this book is like them not knowing if they're good or bad and that the monsters like don't necessarily have intentions or any of these things. And I'm super excited to read it. I have this signed book plate, so I think I'm going to place it here. I have short nails. This is not easy. There we go. I probably put it on crooked, but I think that looks pretty good where it is. I'm super excited because I've never gotten a signed book plate before. Tiptoe along the line that separates human from monster in this stunning story from Victoria Schwab. In a world where evil breeds literal monsters, no one is safe. When two kids from opposite sides collide, lines begin to blur and no one can be trusted. Who is truly evil and who is trying to rise above the darkness? This savage song will have you contemplating which side you're on until the very last page. We also hope you enjoy the letter and signed book plate from Victoria as well as the coloring book featuring covers from awesome YA novels. And then this says, I'm glad you're on our side. Happy reading and thanks for being awesome from Owlcrate. I am literally so happy with this box and everything I got. Last month at first I thought I was going to get evil but I'm really happy I got good because that's what I wanted. Next month's theme is Fast Times at YA High. Flip for a sneak peek. In the August box, 
you'll receive an exclusively designed piece of jewelry inspired by Eleanor and Park. P.S. If you're already a subscriber, your account will automatically renew. Yay. So I haven't read Eleanor and Park, but I've heard great things, and I'm super excited to see which book comes in the box next month, and I'm super happy with this month's box. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment down below if you are subscribed to Owlcrate. Tell me if you got a good or evil box, which Funko you received. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!